Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Tuesday. It is the 27th of January. It's 534. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. Hope they had a good night's sleep. Well rested. A little bit of snow uh, in the uh, Oakville area yesterday. Yeah, I'd have to say that I had about 15 centimeters. I place. had absolutely zero. <laughs> not, nada. Maybe the odd flake. 35, 115, and up yeah. to Peterborough, yeah. and up to north of the city right now, so we'll have to watch that. Yeah, there's certainly a band. It's kind of wrapped around <clears throat> from that very powerful nor'easter that's impacting uh, parts of the United States and Atlantic Canada. Mm -hmm. We'll show you a video of that coming up. First, let's take a look at our temperatures. It's a cold start to the day. Warmer than it was at this time yesterday, but still very chilly. <laughs> All right, video of what was happening in the United States and what's happening in Atlanta, Canada. That's coming up. Don't go anywhere. But first, here's Tom with traffic. Not a ton of active weather today. We're seeing a little bit of wraparound snow, but by this afternoon, we should be seeing a little bit of sunshine. Uh, not a lot to talk about tonight and into tomorrow. Our next best chance is going to be uh, wet Thursday morning. We've got another clip coming in, and this could give us a widespread 5 to 10, possibly even 15 centimeters. Hi there, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Tuesday. It is the 27th of January, 544. I'm Emily Vukovic. Well, I'm Tom Reynolds. Hopefully I had a good evening. It is uh, chilly still outside, yeah. so you have to bundle up. The winter hasn't left us quite yet. No, and we've got lots of winter to talk about, and I've got more details coming up where the GTA, the whole GTA, not just yesterday pockets of it, the whole GTA could see about 5 to 10 centimeters. Well, well, you know, we could use a little bit of snow just to clean things up a little tiny it bit. Winter. It looks kind of dirty. Not at my house. No, you got you got a fair bit yesterday down through Oakville, Burlington. Yeah, but yeah. 15 centimeters on my driveway. I didn't get squat. Yeah. Really, nothing. And I think most of the GTA didn't get anything. No, it was very localized. Mm -hmm. There you are. Still, I think the sunshine will be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what's happening down towards the United States? It's very impactful. They've actually dropped the blizzard warning and downgraded it to a winter storm warning. So, I mean, there's still going to see significant snow throughout the day. If you have travel plans down towards the U.S. East Coast, please call ahead or to Atlantic Canada because they're getting it too. More on that in a moment, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Yeah, we're just seeing a little bit of wraparound this morning, and maybe the, in about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes or so, I'll show you the radar, and you can see kind of where that snow is falling right now. We have uh, a fairly decent day ahead of us. We've got a little bit of sunshine in the forecast this evening, relatively clear, high pressure in for tomorrow, so more in the way of sun. That system that I was talking about that could bring a widespread 5 to 10 centimeters, well, that's going to be coming through starting Thursday morning and into Friday. We have got a clipper coming in from across the prairies, temperatures remaining close to seasonal all week long. Here's exactly what Tom was talking about, that very, very light snow, that wraparound from the very powerful system that's down towards the United States that have canceled over 7,000 flights. Now for us, our weather is not going to be very active today, minus a little bit of snow that we were just checking out on the radar. For the most part, we are going to see some sunshine today. Temperatures are going to be close to seasonal, but feeling even colder when you factor in the wind. Next best chance of some active weather is coming in on Thursday. We've got a clipper cracking right across the Prairie Provinces, and this looks as though it is going to give a fairly widespread 5 to 10 centimeters, possibly even 15 centimeters locally. Then we do start to clear up, but then we've got another system on the way for early next week. So yes, we haven't seen a lot of snow on the ground for the last six to eight weeks, but I think it's coming. I think that trend is over. <laughs> Temperatures, we've got sunshine tomorrow and minus four. Thursday, there's our clipper system at minus two. Friday, we clear up. We start off to have a really good weekend, but then Sunday and Monday, we're watching a system that really could impact the GTA. This Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It is four minutes after six o'clock. It's Tuesday. It is the 27th of January. I'm Emily Vukovic. That's a lot of information. I'm it Tom. Is. That's a lot of information you got in there. And yeah, it's uh, it's cold still. So uh, when you walk out the door, you'll be waking up quite quickly. Okay, let's take a look at our radar because mm -hmm. we do have slippery sections. Uh, a lot of uh, The eastern part of Canada getting slammed and uh, western Canada hot. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Lethbridge got up to 20 degrees yesterday. 20 degrees. Look at that dog. It's like, <laughs> yep, it's spring. Shorts. That uh, person -flops. should not be wearing those jackets. <laughs> Just unbelievable. So really nice temperatures. Yeah, crazy. Honestly, and I mean, in BC, they've had record-breaking mm -hmm. warmth as well. I mean, it's January. I know. It's unbelievable, really. <sighs> well, let's take a little look at some contrast. Some must-see video of what coming up in your force of nature. But first, here's Tom with traffic.
Well, besides this little wraparound lake effect that we're seeing throughout the morning hours, we're going to see a fairly decent day. A little bit of sunshine this afternoon. Temperatures are going to still be cold, very comparable to yesterday. Our next best chance of seeing some active weather is coming in on Thursday with this clipper. It's going to move through and drop about 5 to 10 centimeters, fairly widespread throughout the GTA. So your Friday morning commute could be a little slick, as is your Thursday afternoon commute. And then the weekend, we've got another system to keep an eye on. Well, first, let's focus on our weather. What we're seeing, as Tom was just mentioning, we do have light snow coming down in some of these areas. It's mostly staying down towards the Niagara region. One to three centimeters, certainly not out of the question for this leftover wraparound is what we're calling it from yesterday. Now, we are going to see a little bit of sunshine throughout the day today, which is good news for many people. Temperatures, however, are still going to be quite cold. Tomorrow looks good. Sunshine in the forecast. Our next best chance of seeing a little bit of active weather is coming in on Thursday with this next clipper. Now, this one could give us some widespread snow. We're looking at about 5 to 10 centimeters right now. It is still two days out, but widespread, we're looking at some snow for much of the GTA. So if you missed your chance yesterday, you'll get it on Thursday. <laughs> Behind this low, we've got high pressure moving back in for Friday and Saturday. But then we've got kind of two systems that could potentially converge together and give us some widespread snow. So the one that's a little bit to the north, the one that's to the south, this is going to be coming in Sunday into Monday. But it's still far out, but we're keeping our eye on it, that's for sure. Temperature staying quite seasonal. Thanks for joining us. It's Monday. It is the, sorry, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Getting my days confused here. It's Tuesday. It's the 27th of January. It's cold through the GTA. We're still seeing some light snow in some areas, and I'll show you that in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at what's happening through the United States. We're prepared for this. The salt trucks were getting loaded, and wow, yeah, I don't know if I could handle two feet of snow, which is pretty much exactly what Boston's getting. About 60 centimeters. Yikes. For us, not a lot of active weather. We've got that wraparound through the Niagara region, but for the most part, we're going to see some sunshine today. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Tommy. He's got an update on your commute. Well, we're seeing a little bit of conversion right now, and I was showing you on the radar earlier how we've got light snow, as Tom was mentioning, just around the Niagara region. What's happening, we've got that very powerful nor'easter to our south <laughs> and to our east, and it is bringing in more of a northeasterly flow and then we have more of a northerly flow coming in from our west so that literally that little line of snow that we're seeing that's right where it's all converging together now we've got high pressure in place for much of today and into tomorrow but then thursday next best chance of seeing a little bit of active weather this is going to be a clipper that could potentially bring us some fairly widespread snow we're looking at about five to ten centimeters right now in our forecast details but of course because it is still two days out that could certainly change temperatures are going to stay relatively seasonal for much of the week there's our snow on thursday with a high of minus two Go Good morning. Thanks for joining us. It's Tuesday. It is the 27th of January, 6.44 a.m. I'm Emily Vivich. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And we have some um, snow and slippery conditions out there. A few crashes to report, so we'll update all of those coming up. All right, let's check in with Kevin. He's going to do some fishing, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> or lack thereof. Uh, he's up in Vaughan at the Bass Pro <laughs> Shop. And Kevin, uh, what else are we going to be talking about besides fishing? Kevin hasn't been in the building for the last half hour, so uh, he doesn't actually know about these bands that have just kind of started <laughs> to move in through the GTA. Uh, trace amounts through much of Oakville and over towards Oshawa, but still enough to make the road slick. Speaking of which, let's turn it over to Tom. Tom, how are the roads faring? Well, not for too long. It's, it's, I mean, the accumulation is going to come and it's going to come kind of rapidly and then it will taper off. It looks as though we are going to be seeing a little bit of sunshine throughout the day today, which is good news. High pressure in place for tomorrow as well, so some sun. Our next best chance to see a little bit of active weather is coming in across the Prairie Provinces. We have this clipper in place. This one could give the GTA widespread 5 to 10 centimeters on Thursday into Friday. So if you missed it yesterday, this is your next best chance. Now, we're also watching a system that could come in and give us another 5 to 10 over over the weekend. Stay with us for more on that. Hi there. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. After about a six to eight week period of lack of snow on the ground through much of the GTA, everything is about to change. In fact, it already has changed earlier this week. Yesterday, through much of the GTA, we saw anywhere between five to 15 centimeters of snow where other areas just saw a trace. Well, we've got a couple of pattern changes. Early this week, we still have a lot of cold air moving in through southern Ontario. To the west, they have been basking in the heat. Be jealous of the folks that live in Lethbridge. They got up to a daytime high of 20 degrees yesterday. I know. 
<laughs> 20 degrees. We were sitting in wind chills of minus 20. So we still have this cold pattern. We're sitting, unfortunately, uh, in this big trough of cold air coming in from the north. Wednesday, we've got high pressure. Thursday, next best chance of some widespread snow. This clipper looks as though it could be giving us about 5 to 10 centimeters widespread throughout the GTA. So it's not so much going to be your morning commute because that's when the snow is going to start. But your evening commute could certainly be a little slippery. Now, for Friday, we're looking at colder temperatures behind the cold front, a few lingering snow showers, but nothing intense. Saturday, temperatures are going to be cold. And watch this system to the north. This could certainly have some impact on us over Sunday and into Monday. We're watching a system that, again, could bring us an additional 5 to 10 centimeters of snow through much of the GTA. Now, just when you thought, hey, spring is like 52 days away or something, <laughs> we have to get through winter first, unfortunately. So temperatures for this weekend and early next week are looking frigid. At least the ridge starts to break down in the west, so we're not as jealous. They are going to see a return to some colder air this weekend. But for this weekend, early February, it's cold, and it looks as though the month of February overall is also going to be quite cold. So winter's not quite over just yet. <laughs> Here's Tom now with an update on traffic. Good morning. It is Tuesday. It's the 27th of January, seven, uh, four minutes after seven. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And uh, slippery conditions here and there causing some grief. I'm just hearing a number of crashes mm -hmm. just in the last few minutes, not only down through Niagara, but also up on the 400. So it's starting to uh, intensify a little bit. So be careful. Well, we gave Kevin a break today. We decided because of yesterday, he was in some pretty intense <laughs> snow bands. We decided to let him go inside this morning. He's in Vaughn at the Bass Pro Shop. Uh, Kevin, that's quite the jacket you have on. I like it. Kevin, I could totally use a pair of those. I really like warm socks. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Just assume that looking at the radar, we'll pick up a couple of centimeters through Oakville and in through Burlington as well. All right, we'll talk more about our long range forecast. But Tom, how is this light snow affecting the roads? We do have another clipper system on the way that is going to be giving us a fairly widespread 5 to 10 centimeters throughout the GTA. This is going to move in Thursday morning, last through the afternoon and through the evening. Really start to clear out on Friday. High pressure moving in, but we do have a new system that we're keeping our eye on just in time for the weekend. Yeah, I'd have about six of those in my little tent. <laughs> is it called a tent? No, it's called a hut, I think. <laughs> All right, we do have a little bit of snow coming down in some areas through Vineland over towards Hamilton and through Burlington and Oakville. Some areas could pick up about two to five centimeters. This is just kind of leftover wraparound lake effect from yesterday. Uh, it's just because of that system, that very strong nor'easter that's just hammering the United States East Coast right now. We're not going to be seeing snow all day. We may see a little bit of high pressure by this afternoon, so some sunshine, but temperatures are going to remain quite cold. As you can see, every time you kind of check in with me, the radar just seems to be growing. Now we're starting to see the snow at Pearson, through Milton, over towards Kitchener, uh, through Brantford. This is going to be a couple of centimeters of accumulation, certainly not as intense as yesterday, but down through St. Catharines, five plus certainly uh, quite possible. Could see a little bit of high pressure for today, which means a little bit of sunshine, high pressure and cool temperatures continuing throughout the day tomorrow. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It is the 27th of January, 44 minutes after 7. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And certainly winter weather uh, is uh, abound and down on the <laughs> eastern seaboard. I mean, we're seeing a little taste of it today mm -hmm. uh, right across southern Ontario. Yeah, not as much as we saw yesterday in the same areas, but we are seeing some snow. You can catch it just outside our Oakville studios. This is our camera, and you can just kind of see it lightly falling. Mm -hmm. We're looking at a couple of centimeters throughout the day today. Kevin, you're joins us up in Vaughn, also seeing some snow, but we gave Kevin a break today. We thought, oh, he wrote the snow yesterday. You might as well enjoy some heat on the inside. And he's at the Bass Pro Shop. Kevin, what is that monster thing you're riding on? That I would like. Thanks, Kevin. Something that's going to keep me really warm and insulated while I'm sitting on ice, because that idea to me, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> Pick up about five centimeters with this. Other areas trace to two. All right, speaking of slippery road conditions, I'm going to turn things over to Tom for traffic. Well, once that snow tapers off, we've got high pressure moving in, so we may see a little bit of sunshine this afternoon and then again tomorrow. Thursday, new clipper system moves through. This is going to be giving us some widespread snow right now. Our for we're forecasting about five to ten centimeters of snow, and then we're also watching another system that could impact us over the weekend. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It is Tuesday, the 27th of January, four minutes after eight o'clock. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds, trying to decide whether I should go snowboarding or skiing today. 
anyways. <laughs> I don't believe either. Uh, before we get to Kevin, I just want to mention this. An interesting note of the nor'easter that's happening down through the United mm -hmm. States. Uh, uh, a meteorologist from the National Weather Service has actually apologized, saying that, you know, we forecasted this great big blizzard and we're not really seeing that. Now they're forecasting about three to four inches, so substantially mm -hmm. lower than what they were saying yesterday. And you know what? I have to feel for them because we go through those types of situations yeah. a lot where it, the models are coming in agreement. It looks like we're going to get hammered and all of a sudden the wind shift and it's done. You know? Better safe than sorry and, and all the retailers with all the empty shelves thank them. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> it's true. Way to go. All right, let's check in with Kevin Yard right now. He's in Vaughan, Ontario. And Kevin, you've been spending some time inside this morning, but you just, you had to get out into the snow, didn't you? Thanks so much, Kevin. It's true. He's been in some really cool ice huts and checking out some fishing lines and really comfortable chairs and heaters. And unfortunately, it's making the roads pretty slick. And because of that, Tom, there are a few accidents, aren't there? Well, we do have another system on the way. We should see some high pressure this afternoon and into tomorrow. But Thursday, brand new clipper making its way right across the prairies. This could give us widespread 5 to 10 centimeters of snow. Temperatures are going to stay quite cold. We're looking at wind chills into the minus teens by Friday. Minus 9 feeling like minus 18. Well, you can see by the radar, we do have fairly intense bands coming in through Oakville, Burlington, Hamilton, but it's not going to last for very long. We're talking a couple of hours, and we're not going to see a ton of snow. We're looking at a couple of centimeters throughout Hamilton, through Oakville, through Toronto, down through St. Catharines and in through the Niagara area. However, we could see accumulation five centimeters or more. Once this moves out, we're going to see high pressure move in. We've got a little bit of sunshine in the forecast. Same deal for tomorrow, but temperatures are going to be staying quite cold. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It is Tuesday, it's the 27th of January, 44 minutes past 8 o'clock. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds, and uh, certainly some uh, winter weather down on the East Coast, and we're seeing a little taste of it here as well. You got a fair bit of snow yesterday, in fact. I did. I picked up about 15 centimeters mm -hmm. at my house. I live right in the kind of Burlington Oakville border, and literally, it, it was my neighborhood that probably got the most snow. Yeah. Georgetown was sun, about to plus 20. Beautiful. No lot. snow. Let's go to Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin, up in Vaughan, Ontario, having a good time at the Bass Pro Shop. What have you learned so far today? Uh, that it's cold outside. And it Thanks so much, Kevin. Light snow on the way through much of the GTA for the next couple of hours, up closer to five centimeters. We'll talk more about that coming up and your long range, but it's causing some slippery roads. With more on that, here's Tom. Thanks, Tom. All right, well, we do have this area of high pressure that's going to be moving in throughout the day today and into tomorrow, so we could see more in the way of sunshine. But then Thursday, uh, Clipper moves in, widespread snowfall. The potential is there for about 5 to 10 centimeters widespread for the GTA. And then we're keeping our eye on another system down towards the south that could certainly be impacting Toronto area over the weekend. Temperatures are going to be quite cold for the next few days. I'm Emily Vukovic and joining me, meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum. It seems to be, you're giving me the impression that winter has now begun and yes. it is going to continue for the next few weeks. There is a lot of winter weather ahead and I think our perception of this winter as we look back after it's over will be mm -hmm. highly impacted but by, what, by what we see over the next couple of weeks and over the next month as a whole. Lots of wintry weather ahead as we go into the weekend and into next week. <laughs> all I see is frigid, Doug. That's yes. all I see is the word frigid. It's going to be cold as we get into the weekend. Yes. Okay. Well, a couple of systems ahead. First, a clipper. This is not like effect snow. So everyone will, throughout the GTA in southern Ontario, will see this generally about five centimeters, general range of four to eight centimeters. Behind that system, we will have falling temperatures on Friday, hmm. blowing snow. Whatever falls on Thursday will be blowing around with winds gusting over to 60K and falling temperatures during the middle of the afternoon will be in the minus negative teens. Yay. So wind chills in the negative 20s. <laughs> so, so if you're going skiing, bundle up. And for then sure. on Saturday, still cold. Right, but a quiet day. Just a few scattered flurries. And then Sunday is a day that we're watching, especially later Sunday. We have a golf flow, and precipitation type is not the issue. Track is the issue. Okay. This will be snow. Some of the models keep it south of the border and just some light snow and flurries in Niagara. But uh, I think it's more likely that we mm -hmm. see the system tracking far enough to the north. We'll see the next model solution here uh, 
bringing snow to southern Ontario. The question <laughs> is, is it a nuisance type snow or is it significant? Right. Certainly stay tuned for that. This will be a late Sunday into Monday. Could really impact the Monday commute. But also great news for people that love to get out and ski, right? That's right. And then that's not great. More frigid temperatures as this system departs. Monday and Tuesday is cold. In the month of February as a whole, not every day, but a very wintry month ahead. Okay, winter weather has seriously arrived. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is the 27th of January. We're seeing some light snow throughout the GTA, and it's going to continue for the next couple of hours. Then it'll taper off. We're not going to expect too much in the way of accumulation. We're looking at about two centimeters through the downtown core and through Oakville and Burlington. Certainly not about the 15 centimeters you saw yesterday. Not pretty good as well, about 15 centimeters recorded there. Uh, we do have about five plus centimeters uh, in the forecast for the Niagara region. So if you're traveling in that direction today, roads could be a little dicey. All right, we're going to check in with Kevin Aird. He's joining us up in Vaughan this morning. The snow's coming down. Kevin, what's the temperature like? All right, thanks so much, Kevin. You should have seen him before. He was in these really sophisticated ice huts. Honestly, you go in and it practically has a thermostat. Well, not quite, but still, it's going to keep you warm if you're out on the ice. Uh, you may need it today. <laughs> so we're not going to be staying very warm. We are going to be seeing uh, high pressure in tomorrow and in through, uh, well, the start of Thursday, but we'll talk about that. We've got less than two centimeters on the way for today. As Kevin was just standing in some snow and vomit, but it is very light. Down through St. Catharines and through the Niagara region. Region. Five centimeters, certainly not out of the question. Once we get through today, that high pressure really dominating throughout the day tomorrow. So we're going to see lots in the way of sunshine. Uh, temperatures are going to stay quite cold. And then we've got another system coming in for Thursday. And this one has the potential to drop about five to ten centimeters throughout much of the GTA. So if you missed your chance yesterday, if you live in Toronto or through Scarborough or even areas further north and you missed your chance, you'll get it on Thursday to see a little bit of snow. High pressure behind it. And then we're keeping our eye on a system that really could be impacting the GTA over the weekend. Temperatures are going to be very cold by Friday. It's going to be feeling more like minus 18. You can check out more Time Lapse Tuesday videos at our website, theweathernetwork.com. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It is January the 27th. We're not seeing too much in the way of snow in the GTA this morning. Just a little bit, dusting up to a couple of centimeters through the Niagara region, and I'll talk more about that in a moment. But first, let's check out who's being heavily impacted. If you could, just stay home. And if you actually went out on the road, you got a $300 fine. So hopefully everybody is, uh, is paying attention and being safe throughout the U.S. today. If you've got travel plans, call ahead. For us, we've got a few more centimeters of snow on the way through the GTA. Down through the St. Catharines, Niagara area, we could pick up closer to five centimeters. Roads are fairly slippery at this hour. We are going to continue to see the snow taper off throughout the day and then high pressure move in. We may see some sunshine for some of the afternoon and in throughout the day tomorrow. We do have another system that's going to be moving closer to the GTA and this one is going to be bringing in the potential for five to ten centimeters of snow. Fairly widespread, so if you missed your chance yet, yesterday. You'll get it on Thursday. Once that low moves out, we've got high pressure back in place for Friday. Saturday, not a bad day, but then Sunday, we're keeping our eye on two different systems that could certainly bring us a little bit more shovelable snow throughout much of the GTA. A massive snowman. Thanks so much. Kim McDonald with Around the World in 60 Seconds. You can head to our website, theweathernetwork.com, for more videos. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is the 27th of January. And although we're seeing a little bit of snow throughout the GTA today, nothing compared to what they're dealing with down towards the United States with roadways. Incredibly intense. Now, for us today, eh, roads are slick. Yes, but we're certainly not getting over two feet of snow, which is what parts of Boston are going to be receiving. Uh, a couple of centimeters, quite possible. We're starting to see very slippery road conditions throughout those areas. Throughout the afternoon, the snow will taper off. We should see high pressure moving in, maybe even a little bit of sunshine. And then throughout the day tomorrow, a little bit more sun. Temperatures are going to stay quite cold. And then on Thursday, brand new system coming in. This clipper from across the Prairie Provinces has the potential to leave us with widespread snow. So if you missed your chance yesterday, if you don't live in Burlington and Oakville and Hamilton, <laughs> you're going to get your chance to see some snow throughout the day on Thursday. As it stands right now, we're forecasting about 5 to 10 centimeters for much of the GTA and up through uh, cottage country. High pressure moving in behind it, so we'll start off the weekend okay, but we could end the weekend with another storm. 
Hi there. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Tuesday. It is January the 27th, and it is a cold day today. We've got temperatures, minus single digits, feeling more like the minus teens when you factor in the wind. We've got a little snow in and around the GTA this morning, but nothing compared to what they've been dealing with down towards the east coast of the United States. Travel delays have certainly been a major issue for thousands and millions of commuters right across the country, not only in the United States, but in Canada as well. We've got Kelly Noseworthy. She's joining us at the airport. Kelly, have you talked to a couple of travelers that, have, that were planning on heading down to New York or planning on heading down to Boston? All right. Thanks so much, Kelly. Yeah. And the Atlantic coast also getting hit very hard with this. Uh, they've been seeing, well, they've got the potential to see over 45 centimeters of snow through parts of New Brunswick. Now we're going to check in with Kevin Yard. He joins us in Vaughan, Ontario. Light snow coming down. You're at the uh, Bass Pro Shop. I mean, it's kind of the perfect spot for you to be today because a lot of people are getting ready for outdoor activities this weekend. Kevin, you should have seen some of the ice huts that he was in earlier. They were honestly like little apartments on the water. <laughs> it was incredible. All right, here's our snowfall forecast for today. We're looking at about two centimeters widespread, Markham, Toronto, up through Newmarket, Pearson through Milton, but down through Niagara and then through St. Catharines, five centimeters plus, quite possible. High pressure moving in behind this lake effect. We are going to be seeing a little bit of sunshine throughout the afternoon, and then we've got high pressure in again tomorrow, so lots of sunshine. But without that cloud cover, we lose all that radiative heating. It's like that blanket effect, right? That disappears, and we get really cold temperatures. Thursday, we've got a brand new system coming in. This clipper from across the Prairie Provinces is going to drop about 5 to 10 centimeters right now in our forecast for Thursday. Once that clears out, high pressure moves back in. Temperatures will be cold for Friday. And then we are watching another system throughout the GTA, impacting us Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday morning. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. It's the 27th of January. Uh, many areas throughout the GTA seeing some light snow right now. We're looking at a couple of centimeters of accumulation. Not as intense as it was yesterday. So we're going to see some sunshine throughout the day tomorrow. Today, here's our snowfall forecast. If you're traveling down through St. Catharines or in through the Niagara area, be prepared for the potential for about 5 to 10 centimeters of snow there is going to be that chance with that band coming off the lake. You now through Milton and Pearson and up through Markham and in through Oshawa, a couple of centimeters quite possible, enough to make the roads a little greasy. We are going to be seeing high pressure this evening in through tonight, so staying clear and then tomorrow sunny but cold. Next best chance of active weather Thursday with a new clipper.